everybody and welcome to Freakin Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to make a foggy glass effect and this is really easy, you just need a grunge texture uh, okay, well, we're gonna start importing our footage uh, this is from a movie that I'm making where a girl is like you know, using the dryer to dry the mirror and so um, we're gonna start by using our grunge footage and you can use literally anyone, you can just go into Google and look for grunge texture and literally anyone works so I'm just gonna go and get this one for example looks nice so I'm gonna save the picture and I'm going to import it into After Effects and now you want to put your your Grinch texture over your uh, screen and you want to make sure that it covers the whole area where the mirror is supposed to be now in my case uh, the mirror is the whole screen, but if in your case the mirror is only maybe this area over here, you can just look for an effect that is called... No, maybe the opposite corner. Corner pin, that's it. And you want to try to put it just as, you know, just like this but it's not the case so I'm just going to delete this uh, effect and I'm going to put it covering the whole screen and now what you want to do is use this uh, Grinch texture as a mat for the the glass effect so I want to try to make uh, the effect disappear while she's using this uh, drying machine so I'm gonna create a new solid it's gonna be a black solid and you want to make make it circle so you wanna take the ellipse tool and you wanna try to make it something over there more or less and this is where it starts so you wanna take the feather and just feather it out just like that and you want to start with expansion at, at its minimum when you cannot see any black maybe over there and then set a keyframe over there move along and then take the expansion out maybe something over there and I don't want it to be like a rough animation so I'm going to right click over here, key from assistant is it is out and then this one, right click is it is in so if we play it you can see that it starts appearing slowly and at the same way it ends the animation slowly it doesn't just appear suddenly like that okay so this is looking good now we want to make visible or uh, grunge texture and now we want to take both the solid and the texture we want to right click pre compose and call it grunge for example and you want to now create a new adjustment layer put it between the footage and the grunge texture and you want to use this as a luma mat now if we take the Gaussian blur effect and we blur it out make sure to use repeat edge pixels just like that we're gonna see that we already created this kind of uh, blurry effect and you can see that we already created this effect where it starts all like really blurry and she gets it away and uh, that was it basically it was a really easy effect as you can see and thank you very much for joining me in this quick tutorial on how to make this effect and if if there's any kind of effect that you would like to know how to do or whatever just let me know in the comments below and i'll try to do a tutorial as soon as possible so thank you very much and i really hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya Hit the club.